Hey friends, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make Mr. Cotto and Mrs. Caddy. Um, these are two cute um, crochet appliques um, that I have made as part of a challenge hosted by Hobby Yarn um, that I'll be sharing on Pinterest. But I wanted to go through a quick tutorial because it's super easy and fun to make so i hope you enjoy it um today you're going to be needing these three yarns um you could use alternative yarns in these colors but um, i'll be using friends cotton 86 um which is 100 percent cotton in the color 105 um which is like a darker green and then um friends cotton 86 100 percent cotton and this is color 108 which is like a lime green and friends cotton 86 100 percent cotton and color 12 for the brown it's a super cute avocado applique um using tunisian crochet simple stitch and a little bit of color work and um a little bit of increases and decreases but super easy to follow i have some other tutorials that go through um, increases and decreases I, you'll need a yarn needle scissors and a pair of safety eyes i'm using 12 mm safety eyes in this green color so that they go and then i added cute little um, hat and bow um, attachments like accessories that make them a little bit cuter so let's get started first um, you're gonna need the lime which is our first color and we are going to chain we're gonna chain seven. Oh, and I'm using a five uh sorry I'm using my <clears throat> clover takumi j6mm tunisian crochet hook um you'll need one that's at least like eight inches six to eight inches long so that you can fit the entire um project on here so let's get started so for the body we are going to complete uh first we're going to chain seven with our lime color so we are going to do one two three four five six and seven all right so i've chained seven and then we're going to do a normal just a foundation row here which is picking up loops and the back bumps and um i have a separate tutorial that takes you through all of these which i'll link to you can click the eye above if you want um, a slower video taking you through the foundation row so now we have seven loops on our hook and then we're going to do a return pass just chain one and pulling through two loops all the way across all right and then we are going to do a simple stitch and then an increase which is basically um, you're just going to go back into that same stitch and do a knit stitch. I have another separate tutorial for how to do the knit stitch, how to do increases, um, which I'll link to again in the corner. You can click the I. So then after we do the increase, we are going to simple stitch across until there are two stitches remaining. So you see that there's a last stitch and this second last stitch. In the second last stitch, we are going to do a knit stitch and then a simple stitch so that we have increased a stitch here. And then we're just going to work the last stitch as normal. All right, and then we're going to do our return pass, go all the way across. and then rows three and four we are just gonna simple stitch across just like that okay. 
chain one and then return pass all the way across two more so one more row just doing simple stitch across And then row five, we are gonna, oops, do a return pass first. And then we are going to. Okay, so now we are on row five. So I did two rows of Tunisian Simple Stitch after doing our increase. And now we are going to do another increase in here and then simple stitch into that same stitch and then we are going to join our color B. I have another tutorial for how to join um, a new color but basically you're just going to twist it around the back like this and then just pull up a loop oops wrong color pull up a loop in the new color like so and then you're gonna just tighten in the back so that it stays and then we're gonna do simple stitch with color B into the next four stitches and then we're gonna do a little float in the back like so and change back to color A and here we are going to do a simple stitch and then we are going to increase by doing our next stitch and then just work our last stitch as normal and then we're going to do a return pass so chain one pull through two pull through two and then when you have just one loop remaining and your next one is the other color we're going to twist again and go back to the brown we're going to pull through two loops with the brown and then pull through two loops pull through two loops pull through two pull through two and then we are going to switch back again because we have one remaining and then we're going to pull through two. Make sure you're pulling the yarn in the back so it's tight. Your stitches are tight. Pull through two, pull through so two. So for rows six and seven, we are going to TSS one with our color A and then wrap the yarn around and then pull up a loop here and then we're gonna do seven with our color B. Three, four, five, six, and seven. All right, and then we're just gonna wrap the yarn around again, pull up a loop with color A, and then work last stitch as normal so we're going to do this for the next row as well so just chain one pull through two 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 pull through two, pull through two all the way across and then we're going to switch back to color a when we have one remaining and then pull through two. That's how you do the return pass. I have a separate tutorial for color changes, which I'll link to in the, you can click the I above for that. So again, this is row seven. We are going to pick up, we're gonna do the exact same thing. So one TSS one with color A, and then we're switch, switching to color B all the way across. So you have seven stitches. in color B 
and then we are going to switch back and then Okay. And then work the last stitch as normal with our color A. And then we're going to do a return pass, chain one, return pass, and then return pass again, changing colors. Okay. So this was row seven. I'm gonna switch to our color A. And then next row, we are going to simple stitch two together with our color A. like so and then we are going to twist and then work five one two three four five and color b and then we are going to twist and then we are going to tss two together this is a decrease. I have a separate tutorial for decreases, um, which I will link to above in the eye. You can click that. that video and then just work the last stitch as normal. And then again, we're going to do our return pass with the color changes. And then like that. And then just switch to the line and then just return pass. So that was row eight and then we are just going to TSS across with our line for this row. Which is row 9, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So at this point we should be back at the 9 because we decreased. And then we are going to just do a return pass. All the way across. All right, and then we are going to just be using our lime now for the next three rows will be decreasing. So we're going to TSS two together and then work simple stitch across until we get to the last three stitches. And then we are going to do that and then chain one and then just pull through two all the way across and then we're gonna do simple stitch across and then Simple stitch across and then chain one, pull through two all the way across, and then we're gonna simple stitch two together, and then one, two, just do one simple stitch, and then we're gonna simple stitch two together again here, and work our last stitch as normal. So now we are back at our five stitches that we started off with. And that's pretty much it. And now we are just gonna bind off like this. 
And I have a separate tutorial again for binding off, which I can link to. Basically, you're just slip stitching kind of across and then and then we are just going to leave a bit of a tail and then cut the yarn and then we can also leave a bit of a tail here leave a bit of a long tail in the back here so that for the um, brown so that you can just use this for embroidering the smile and then um, we're gonna attach our safety eyes and then embroider a smile over here and then I'll do um, a border with the green and we're almost done super easy super simple then I'll show you how to do the accessories so I'm just attaching I'm just eyeballing it no pun intended. I'm just going to attach my safety eyes here just a little bit below the... And you can make them closer or farther apart and also um, feel free to embroider the eyes on if you prefer doing that or um, using smaller safety eyes because I know some people like small safety eyes. Depends on what your preference is. So attach the safety eyes. And now I'm just going to take my brown tail back from the back, just, oops, and then just weave my yarn through and then do a, I'm just going to do a little smile here. I'm just going to do it in the center like so. It's kind of close to the eyes, but... like that and there we go you can make it a little wider or you know however you prefer and then I'm just gonna weave this into the back I'm gonna just weave the ends in as I go so I'm not struggling I'm gonna just take my green, which I have here, and just do single crochet around, starting at the corner over here. Just chain on here, or slip stitch onto here, and then we are just going to slip stitch we're just gonna do single crochet all the way around Single crocheting all the way around. Crochet all the way around. So this is the I've single crocheted around. I'm gonna pull a bit of a tail cut and then I'm gonna weave these two ends in. If you want, um, you can create two and then 
add some stuffing and it would become a fun crochet toy crochet food toy um or you know if you want to add it as an applique you can to something that's what i intended it to be but um get creative if you want to make a food toy out of it a migurumi out of it that would be great too it's super versatile you can do whatever you want with this pattern and it's a good way to practice your Tunisian crochet skills which is something I always try to have as part of my patterns all right and I'm gonna show you how to make the bow the bow is way easy and then even the hat they're both pretty easy to make and i use brown um, but feel free to use other colors i just wanted to stick to the hobby yarn all right so for the hat all you literally do is you are going to chain nine so you're just gonna i'm just going to slip stitch or slip make a slip knot and then you're gonna chain nine so one two three four five six seven eight and nine okay and chain nine and then you're gonna do a foundation row and just gonna do that Four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine. All right, and then just return pass all the way across. Okay, and then we are going to bind off two stitches here one and two, and then you're just gonna work one, two, three four and five simple stitch five and then do a return pass and then you're gonna work two more rows just like this so tss across three more rows so one two oops two and then do one more row you can start to see the hot shape is forming all right so oops and then just gonna do a return pass and then just the last row we're just gonna bind off here so oops so we're just gonna bind off one two three four did bind off here and then um you're just gonna slip stitch down the edge here so let's go in slip stitch all the way across so it's like this and then There we go. And there is your hat. This one's a little bit of a different shape, but it's okay. It's a hat. <laughs> and then um, we're just gonna leave a long edge for sewing. So that's too short. Just gonna pull and leave a long edge. For sewing and cut the yarn and 
there's her hat and then and now i'm gonna show you how to make the bow i'm just gonna use the same yarn because i don't need another hat so the bow is super easy too we are just going to do chain eight so one two three four five six seven and eight i chained eight and then we're going to complete a foundation row so here you're basically just making a rectangle so chain eight and then do this Okay, so four, five, six, seven, eight. And we chain one, pull through two, pull through two, all the way across. And then we are gonna do a simple stitch across for three more rows. like that and there we go so one and then two And then three. Okay, so I did three rows here, and then just gonna bind off. And then basically what you do is you're gonna do you're gonna leave a extra long tail cut the yarn and then I'm just demonstrating here but you're gonna over. fold it you're gonna fold it over like so fold it in the middle or cinch it in the middle and then just wrap the yarn around a few times and then you are going to sew it on on the center on the sorry upper right corner like this and there you have it mr kato and mrs caddy i hope you enjoyed the tutorial let me know if you have any questions if you need clarification about any of the um, steps i would be happy to help but i hope you enjoyed the tutorial and found this useful please do comment subscribe like and share if you found it useful all right, I will link to everything below in the description and I have a blog post up with the step-by-step -step written instructions if you need those. And all right, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.